Oh shit, we're live. What's going on, guys? Domzo Danino back at it. Part number two of GTA 3, the definitive edition. Um, yeah, guys, I wasn't planning on streaming today. Hence why, if you're watching this, uh, it's late. It's today is January 22nd, Sunday. It's pretty late. It's nine o'clock uh, Pacific time. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, just I uh, was just hanging out with um, some friends and all that great stuff. Uh, watched the Cowboys game, hence the title of it. How about them Cowboys? Yeah, I don't know. I kind of envisioned that this was gonna happen, but <sighs> I mean it's okay. It wasn't a bad game, but I do believe that if the 49ers play like this versus the Eagles, uh, they're not gonna win. That's just my humble opinion. I'm not trying to bash them or talk shit. Obviously, uh, the LA Rams are not there. Just fine, you know what I mean. Um, but realistically speaking, 49ers have a very tough matchup with the Eagles. Um, and then over there on the AFC, you got the Bengals and the Chiefs, which that game could go either way as well, you know what I mean? But this is the beauty of football, guys. Um, typically, I'm not a huge fan, I don't really keep up throughout the whole season because I have a lot going on. But typically, on the playoffs of anything, I usually keep off, keep up with. NBA, MLB, um, NFL, you know, call me a casual. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I'm more into MMA. Talk to me about MMA anytime I could actually chop it up about that. Got the fucking the sounds going. But yeah, guys, more talk about GTA 3 and me. Um, well, i am be honest. I, I don't fucking like this game, but I'm just pushing it through because uh obviously it's a part of the definitive edition um yeah guys other than that there's no more channel news uh i did have a nice little uh, getaway on friday on yeah on friday which is why i streamed on thursday passed up friday because i was in la and then i passed up saturday because uh i was busy and the big ufc event was that day shout out to the boy moreno shout out to the fucking boy he he did it um, you can't, you can't hate it. You know what I mean? Personally, though, I believe that they shouldn't have fought three times, let alone four. I think after a challenger finishes your opponent, I think they should go on and move on. If it's a decision, I completely get it. But fucking Moreno wanted that title back. He got it back. You know, shout out to him, putting it on for us uh, beaners, us Mexican people. Uh, but yeah, guys, trying to think of if there's anything else. Um, no, I think that just about does it. So yeah, guys, part number two, GTA 3, the definitive edition. Let's get right into it. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> You know Elgato, fucking notorious for fucking shit up. So just making sure everything's working. I mean, do these guys realize shit. how wussy they sound? Hold up, guys. I mean, they have the nerve to call crackers this, and they say aluminium instead of aluminum. I mean, God damn what's it. up with that? They all think they sound the so stupid. Smart, thing always is accent. in the way. I mean, I got something for them. Speak English, you limey moron. Well, you know, I think they were speaking English before. Alright, cool. The people over here were speaking Shoshone. Oh, here. there's another mission right here. Fuck. Was this the mission though that I was supposed to do? No. Yeah, I'm right now I'm still doing all the J mission. Man, that's a boring game, man. I'll tell you what soccer is. Soccer's for little girls, man. God damn, there's a lot of shit going on over there, man. Ah, and there's also the phone missions. I'll probably do that um, sometime during like my off stream. I'm talking about being a man, you wouldn't know anything about from the sound stage. I bet you play swimming stuff like like touch football and and basketball. Look, I'm running around the court bouncing the ball, and I'm seven foot three. Telling you, man. I should check if there's um some armor right there at that spot. Dude, what's up with all these people jumping in front of my car and 
one in the dying Now run me, hot guy. Man, get me in a scrum and I'm safe. I'll take... So you're telling me that this whole fucking time, those fences break, and I'm over here driving around and shit. Stupid. Not know that. Spark gone out of the love light. Looking to add a little adventure to the monotony of a monogamy? Hello, I am Fernando Martinez, founder of Fernando's New Beginnings. A revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. We understand how two kids and a mortgage can take the passion out of your life. He's trying to get level program, you'll rediscover with the fucking romance. the monitor. Guaranteed. I felt like I was a little too low when I was Hi, looking up too much. Phil. This I've got three better. kids, two cars, and a mortgage. <clears throat> my love life was going stale, even before my wife's car accident. Then I called New Beginnings. Thanks to Fernando, I'm still married. But on Wednesday afternoon... Okay, you see what I mean? How the Germany. fuck did those see, break? Fashion cheese bag. Phil's marriage is but not those. Okay, well, there's my fucking car. And now I'm on fire myself, so... Ah, dude. So I think these ones break. But I don't think this one breaks. What kind of fucking... I'm not gonna even talk about it. GTA 3 Definitive Edition broken as well beautiful just beautiful all right just the guy i need to talk to all right there's a car stuffed with a stiff at the cafe near callahan point one of the forellis thought he was a wise guy so he got what he had coming to him take the corpse to the crusher in harwood all right <sighs> fucking wise guys yeah guys i i just feel like i have a hard time um, and look at that guy. Motherfuckers jumping in front of cars over here too. Not just me. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, just in general, this game is just very hard to get into because of the story. A lot doesn't talk. You know what I mean? The only reason this game carries any weight is because of the fact that, and I think I said this on the last, on the last year. Only reason this game carries any weight is because it was the first GTA in the 3D world. Prior to this game, it was only GTA 2 and GTA 1. I feel like I think there's one called GTA London. Those were all like top-down views, and I think you could do it. Nah, they they took it out. But I think in the original PS2 version, there's actually a top-down view where you're like, it's like you're looking straight down. Um, yeah, that guy does not look like he's supposed to be there. And, um, yeah, this was the first one that was, uh, where you were able to, um, see in 3D. God damn, dude. <laughs> And then the, oh my god. Dude, <laughs> these guys do not let up. Holy shit, there's a body in the back. Yeah, I don't think this was supposed to go this way. You didn't completely fuck it up. But yeah, guys, again, back to my take. These fuckers even let me have it. There you go. Fuck. Dude, I just need him to like kind of turn and to fuck up. Nah, this car's gonna turn on, get catch on fire before I get that. Yeah, might as well just die. But yeah, guys, again, that's the, this. The only reason this game carries any fucking weight, it's because it's the first 3D world GTA. Before beautiful. this, Just it was beautiful. only like 2D. 
right? This was groundbreaking right, as far as video games goes and technology goes right, and fucking all that shit. At the cafe this is why point. One of the it has stamped its own legacy amongst other GTAs. But in general, this right? game is fucking ass. My city holds weight still because it's a different map. Mercedes actually has a pretty solid uh, character and persona to him. Um, and obviously, San Andreas is arguably, if not the best <laughs> GTA for that, for like the PS2 and the Xbox. Uh, yes. Uh, why are you calling in today? Because yeah, this game's ass. Advice, and I ain't doing any of that shit. Uh, if you swear but again, we're gonna have to cut you off. I chose to this play it. I mean, sorry, I purchased sorry, it, sorry, sorry, so I gotta push through it. Try to find the good it's out of this shitty ass game. <clears throat> but I also learned right now in this fucking mission that I can't just shoot those guys. So obviously there's they're there to set me up. So I need to put a van right there to get in the way of that guy. And then I don't even know where the other dude's at. Oh, he's right there. And I should probably steal this car. Ignore the music, YouTube. And put it in front of here. Take this van. Also put it in front of here. So as soon as I... Dude, Claude's always tired. Run. Yeah, motherfucker. You stupid ass. I gotta get away because then the other guy's gonna catch up too. Oh my god, here we go. Dude, I feel I'm almost convinced that they always respawn. Dude, the thing is, like, these guys just don't fucking let up. This car's slow as fuck to begin with, and those Rally Brothers guys just have this AI to them that just doesn't leave me the fuck alone. But if you do those cheats that I just made up on the fly, you can beat it. Not too bad, I guess. Dude, Claude cannot run for shit, man. Alright. Sprint. He doesn't even run that fast. And he's tired already. <laughs> uh, they should have like a cheat for unlimited sprint or something, man. Fucking sad. Damn game developers. Can I take one of these cars? I'm gonna take the truck. How are you just gonna sprint that and get tired already, dude? Yes, I sold the truck. Do something about it. Roland put on a few extra pounds. I'd use the Dormatron. Unlike those other exercise machines that <clears throat> need to be awake, the Dormatron actually exercises you overnight. Let's learn a little bit more about it. I've tried everything, and I just couldn't keep those extra 200 pounds off. It started to affect my marriage. She was too big to right, Let's go back to Jay. I don't even know these fucking guys' names. It's on me stapling. I put my mouth sewn up, my hands chopped off. You name it, I'm trying to hit it. Sorry. That's right, honey. Then I found the dormitory using a new technology. 
technology called biorhythmic subconscious gymnastics, the dormitron exercise. Yeah. Oh, man. Strap in your arms and legs, put on the dormitron headset, then wrap yourself in a special high voltage electric blanket. Turn it on to 11 and burn those pounds away while you have a relaxing night's sleep. Now that I've lost 280 pounds, my husband's all mine again. That's right, honey. No more escort services for me. Yeah, bitch, that's what you get. Is he even kicking him? Didn't even look like he's kicking him. <laughs> Between 6 and 14? I just missed it. Well, just go to the safe house. It said between Hello, six Don't you? and This is Chatterbox. Else. We are uh, taking your call Hi. right now. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hi, Lavo. Is that your real name? Where's this house? Uh, of course it's my real name. Are you Hungarian? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm from upstate. Are you sure that's not a fake radio name? Like Damn. Maybe a Bobo? I thought all those radio people had fake names. Do you have a question or you just want to sit here and talk all day about my name? No, that's it. Love to know, Lavo. Or Mark. Or John. Or Beverly. Whatever your name is. All right, next caller, you're on Chatterbox. What is on your mind? Burnets, fruit, vegetables, albino carrots as they're known back home. There's a bat here. Oh, this was the first time him saving her. Another bat. It's about to be six in the morning. I'm sure the drive over there will make up for that. I wanted to say something about these video games. They are one big on his mind. My son saw Cuba got hit by a truck, and he said, "Mommy, mommy, where's the reset button?" Kids these days. I let my kids play video games, and now they're running around the house looking for gold coins, and teaching our children to go save money. My little fans are playing this new video game called Pogo the Monkey. Yeah, I've heard of that one. Oh my god, dude. And the traffic's broken. I just finished the job for you, bud. I love that button. Now I'm gonna get charged for that crap. moment on this show, especially if you're in our key demographic. Love media. Bringing people from the finest entertainment together. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. I want to talk about that bank stuff. People say it's bad. It's not bad to you at all. Why aren't you talking? The getaway. What a ride she's gonna be, huh? All right, listen. Get some wheels to the safe house at St. Mark's and pick up a few friends of mine. They're hitting the bank and they need a driver. I gave my word that you were the man, so don't screw this up. Get them to the bank before five o'clock, not a minute after. Bro, why am I doing all of your fucking work anyways? Why don't you do it? What I've seen, if you've heard what I've heard, you never brush your teeth again. Uh, I suppose you're one of those people that says that diet soda makes you go crazy later in life. I told you before, man. Don't mock me. My taxes pay your salary. Is that a cop? Sir, uh, this is a commercial radio station so. owned by Love Media, advertising revenue paid by salary. And on that note, it's been two full minutes since a commercial. But I'd like to say, if anyone else is stressed, might I recommend Equinox from Zaibatsu Pharmaceuticals? We'll be back after these important messages. Oh <laughs> All righty, I'm here. You need a getaway vehicle. Oh, Just get a taxi. I never need to sleep. Equinox is new from Zaibatsu Pharmaceuticals. Ask your doctor about Equinox today. Equinox may cause nausea, loss of sleep, blurred vision, leakage, kidney problems, and deep throat, ladies. Fucking glad I got a four door. Gets to the bank on the main drag. Life's harsh reality. Oh, these guys are in the middle of a heist. What the fuck? Liberty City Survivor. This takes reality TV. Better get a decent cut for this if I'm your guys' getaway driver. Equipped them with grenade launchers and flamethrowers. Each other down. It's the 
Alright, yeah, I'm not the right guy for the job. Keep fucking crashing. Well, hurry the fuck up! God damn. Alright, let's do it. The pain spray, huh? Chatterbox, call us on the chatter line to tell us what's on your mind. Line four, you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Liberty City cops rule! Ah, that's lovely, thanks. Next caller, you're on Chatterbox. You know what the cops at? Everyone knows when it's made from sand. Okay, great. All right. Another lunatic. Hello, it's like we're making a pretty clean getaway. Yeah, I don't even know if I could... Oh, well, you know, you'd have an attitude. Shit. All right, here we go, here we go. I don't even know if I can get this car resprayed. Here we go. Part number two with shitty resprays at the paint spray. So I have three cops. And they just respray it yellow and uh, the cops won't recognize me. Hey, they also put in a new engine. Fucking fast ass engines for Can you get that? You're closer. Why so sad, Kiwi? Who do you think you are? Short people are people too. All right, another award-winning show. On GTA logic, guys, at its about finest. Anything, it seems. You have something to say about anything. Hey, my truck's still there. Hello, Fuck yeah. On Chatterbox. Yeah, I love the show. Love hearing people's opinions. That's what made this country great. People and opinions and stuff. Most of all, guns. 30,000, huh? Not bad at all. Alrighty. Alright, so it looks like that does it for Don't that one gun. guy. Oh, what? Oh, hell yeah. Look. I think uh, the next island opened. Thank God. Yo. I mean, the Lone Star State. Oh, I think. Really I could wrong. be fucking wrong, Tony. Really wrong. My father worked his whole life. He played the lottery. Bro, didn't I just drop a bomb at this spot? Why am I here? Taking out the laundry. Take a seat, kid. Take a goddamn seat. So the laundry won't pay any protection, huh? The triads think they can mess with me? Let's teach these would-be tough guys what it means to be a tough guy. Yeah, sorry, Ma. Yes, Ma. I want you to destroy their laundry vans and mangle any triad gimp that gets in your way. Eight Ball can supply you with what you're gonna need. So what am I supposed to do? Um. Oh, those are moving targets. God damn. You guys, uh, you guys on a mission right now too. Look at him. Got to fulfill all of his deliveries. Short guys, oh, why'd I come on this side? Anything sane you'd like to bring to the party? Hello, you are on Chatterbox. I was listening to that caller about taxes. You use the word creep. How do you expect to be a responsible member of society if you don't understand how the government Oh no, it's so close. Why are people afraid of suffering? If it's so close, why is it why is it telling me what's on the other side? Alright, what am I supposed to do? Blow them up? Or steal them? Thanks for calling. Now that we've lost 98% of our audience, let's reward the other Okay, yeah, these guys are not stopping. Come back with a special studio guest. Special because he advertises on this radio station. Remember, Let me look at the fucking brief. Me the difference between achieving your dreams. Hey, I just won the Nobel Peace Prize. And not. Oh, wonderful rascals. All right, fuck it. Devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer. Yeah, I have no later, idea what the fuck I'm supposed to do. That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Jump too late, you dumbass. 
only spent $20,000, and now I can get email in the shower or surf the internet while I'm driving. I was bored stupid at my daughter's recitals and my son's Little League games. But thanks to House of Tomorrow, I can play wireless head-to-head -head 3D virtual reality poker literally anywhere. If it's a flash in the pan technology of absolutely no use to anyone, you can find it at House of Tomorrow. Remember, only technology makes life worth living. Dude, I really don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Upgrade your system, then you can upgrade your life. And now it is my great pleasure to welcome Fernando Martinez, who it says here is the founder of Fernando's New Beginnings, a revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. Fernando, welcome. The pleasure is mine, that It is an honor to be here. I feel that. Uh, it said so Abel can supply me with what I need, but what the fuck does he have? Let's just go over there. He probably has a fucking rocket launcher. a revolution in the Irish guidance. For my people, marriage is, how would you say, sacred. The bond between the father and the mother, it is made in heaven and the bedroom. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I think so. For my people, it is the holiest, most sacrosanct thing imaginable. Like a church. Yet, for it to be a happy marriage, it must also be like a brother. The woman, she must be many, many arts. Dude, <laughs> come on, man. Oh, grenades. I don't know how the fuck that's gonna help, but. Change diapers and then do a French maid? Fernando. I need a new car, though. Fernando knows not. Well, I mean, you know, it's an age old problem. I mean, how do you keep the excitement in America? Oh, fuck, there's a dude right there. Exactly. Fuck yeah! I did not think that was gonna fucking hit, but okay, it did. Just give me a fucking car. Dude, just a bunch of cars are exploding. <laughs> now I have three cops. God damn. Just because I fucking chucked hey, one grenade. Your wife, you look like yesterday's dinner after I eat. You're not so happy. He's a bit different. Anyway, the marriage is impossible. If a man was born an angel, maybe impossible. But a man is born a man. And a man with knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed. But for his bed, he needs something else. Something magical. Right, this might be easy or might be hard. Got him. But they got me too. Oh, fuck. Okay, there's a tanker over there. I have four fucking stars. Not good. And Claude just can't run for shit. Get in there. Oh, dude. Oh shit! What happened to that guy? I think it might be easy is to just uh, go to the paint spray. Yeah, I'm gonna just go to the paint spray. I'm, I'm too invested in this mission right now. I don't not want to lose it or uh, fail it. Go to the paint spray. For me, once it was so. But then one day, I where the fuck? Oh, it's on the other block. I realized, Holy Fernando, shit! You are really Get the fuck out the way, <laughs> dude! GTA 3 has the most aggressive cops. That is fucking crazy. Liberty City, you guys are on one. God damn! At least I got away with all that. 
So, how does this work? It is a miracle, Lazlo. A miracle. A man is a good father, a loving husband, the winner of bread, yeah. six and a half days. I had to throw that in there because I <laughs> lost all the cops. By giving him what he needs to make him grow in life. Just gotta predict this route. With you, that kind of sounds like a limited mark. You are very brainless. I don't like that. But no, not with me. Passion for life. Passion for love. Did I get him? I did it. That one should have got him. Do the miracles of the word. Bro, what the fuck? I'm not gonna lie, I got pretty lucky with the first two. This one's gonna be a little harder. And and do the wives know about this? In their hearts, last love, they know they have been saved. Uh, okay. We're gonna open it up to the phones if you've got any questions for Fernando Martinez, exotic marriage guidance made easy. Bring us now. Hey, oh, cool. We okay, so he has the same route. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's so Gary. if he has the same route, I should be able to start checking him right here. Start blowing up other fucking cars and blowing myself up. God damn, dude. God, you piece of shit, man. Alright, well, here he is. <laughs> Last grenade. I can't fuck this up. And I fucked it up. Come on, man. So, did I pass or not? Did I pass? I passed, right? Okay, I don't care about that. What the fuck? Did I pass or did I fail? That's the real question. God damn. Oh. <sighs> well, I guess we'll find out right now. <laughs> Gotta get my fucking guns all over again. Oh, there's armor there too. Nice. Wait, where'd it go? There's no armor. They fucking lied to me. Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of forced him on. Hey, you watch yourself, mister. And you, Janice, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he's no That right there, guys, can be a GTA first. Oh, fuck, man. What are the chances? You're a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. Angry, and a little bit of a know-it-all, but very pretty lady. This is the thing, last one. The women they think in your beginnings is only for men. Call that the driving! Oh, these, these guys are part of the mob, man. Might as well kill them and get some guns. Dude, they're running into me! Yeah, at least, well, at least they understand the... At least they understand the objective, I guess. The pickup. Alright, I, I pass it. Thank God. The laundry has agreed to pay. You did real good, kid. Go collect the cash and bring it back here. Watch out for the triads. They may be shoving a firecracker up your ass. But don't take no crap. Nobody, I mean nobody, messes with Tony Kipriani. <sighs> I think it's funny how like all these mob guys Dude, they just keep running in front of me Not my fault, they want it They brought that shit upon themselves And they're gonna revive them Hell yeah I always thought it was funny how like these guys revive them Cause they just like Okay, that guy died Oh, crazy. Um, but yeah, I think it's funny because a lot of these mob guys start talking about, oh, no one fucks with me, yada, 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 when you're not the ones even doing the work. People like Claude, you know, dirty work. At least in the game. I don't know about real life. I'm not even Italian. I don't know anything about that. 
Police in America! Would you like a kitten? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and But we'll Claude be putting in some mad work. PetsOvernight.com Delivering little bundles of love in a box direct. I can tell this is not going to go good. Alright, the bat. Bat and the other guy has a gun. And, okay, they all have bat. It's a trap. Whoa, well, I have to kill them. Dude, what am I supposed to do when they're fucking... Okay. Bro, these guys be swinging those bats fucking hard. I'm surprised I fucking I didn't die. Bro, that guy changed the fucking radio station while he was in my car. Dude, alright, give me some fucking health. I'm on my way now. I wonder why more people aren't talking about this. I mean, killer bees swarming, and it sounds pretty serious. Ah, but the killer bees are nothing compared to ants. You can't kill them. They're like sheep. They're going to take over. All right, thanks, caller. Ants, killer bees, fat people. <laughs> hey, my truck's still there. Part two. Ten Gs. Can you do some more missions for me, though? Salvatore is called a meeting. Don Salvatore has called a meeting. I need you to collect the limo and his boy Joey from the garage. Then get Luigi from his club. Come back here and pick me up. Then we'll all drive over to the boss's place together. Those triads, they don't know when to stop. They want a war, they got a war. Now get going. Take my truck. I bet that isn't even your real name. Dude, come on. Stupid. They keep diving in front of me. Is your job affecting your health? Do you become fatigued? Does working take time away from family and social events like watching wrestling? There's an easy solution. Sue your boss. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything. And you'll probably win. Or at least get a settlement. At the firm of Rakin and Ponser Personal Injury Attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, and train accidents, and can even train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for insurance. The chatter line here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. How you doing? Make your viewers aware that okay now oh, yeah. this is a radio show we here we go have viewers we have listeners uh okay anyway laswell i just wanted to make your oh i'm the one that's driving the international puppetry festival is next month at the fairgrounds something well, tells me i'm gonna get ambushed and these fucking guys are gonna be crashing me and all this shit down, dude it's gonna be totally killer <laughs> i wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows these days <laughs> oh man have you been living under a rock bro guys with puppets get chicks I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together, it's rad. But anyway, dude, at the International Puppetry Festival, we'll be having workshops on finger puppets, too. I love Petunia the Pinky, meet Barry the Thumb. String puppets, club puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. 
<laughs> okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? No, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid oh, I'm picking up all the, all the head honchos. But here's someone who has. And they paid us in stacks of old groats and gold. How you doing, kid? Do you live in the boring so I got Joey. I got other fucker. Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for now a hundred pounds suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion? Do you eat my the other guy. All the while wishing you were roasting a suckling pig at a pagan banquet. Is your next ideal home improvement a moat? Well, hey, the other car's still there. City? And everyone continues to fucking dive Park. in front of me. It's the medieval millennium fair. Our band of traveling minstrels, knights, and maidens oh so fair are ready to delight you with tales of the black death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a feudal sir. All right, let's go. Medicine, of course. Spells and potions you need. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, guys, there's more than just one. By genuine reproduction medieval artifacts, including maces, double-handed battle swords, and one size fits all chain mail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical. Oh my god, dude. It's perfect for your garden pond or a swimming pool. And learn how Fucking to Fucking setting me up. Using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The medieval millennium fair. Every weekend at oh, Liberty there's City. There's another one. It's like he's stuck. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason for the success of the internet. All right, let's take a call. Who's on the line? I'm gonna have to tell this Salvatore guy that uh, I have a little problem. What are you talking about? None of his uh, house. Close, I hate him. I just. You did good back there, kid. Real good. Come on, let's introduce you to the Don. Hey, Luigi! Oh, my hey. God, I've been missing you so long, Salvatore. You've been away too long. Tell them once this unfortunate business... I think that's the guy that owned the casino we'll from uh, San Andreas. Okay? It's my boy. How you doing, Pop? You got yourself a good woman yet? Hey, your mother, God bless her soul, would be turning over in her grave to see you without a wife. I know, Pop. I'm working on it. Tony! How's your mama? She's a great woman, you know, strong, Firenze. She's good. Fine. Terrific, terrific. Now listen, you guys, you go inside while I talk to our new friend here. I see nothing but good things for you, my boy. Call me your boy. Boy. Oh, uh, what the fuck? An immediate so mission. Business, so you're going to look after my girl for the evening. Hey, Maria, move your butt. Hey. And here she is, the one and only Queen of Sheba. What are you doing up there? Whatever it was, I bet it cost me money. Well, you don't think I hang around here for the conversation, do you? Get in the car and keep your big mouth shut. Take the limo, but bring it back in one piece, you hear me? And watch her. She can be trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure your new lap dog has everything covered. And isn't he big and strong? Hey, fighter, let's go visit Chico and get some party treats. He's at the rail station at the Chinatown waterfront, I think. I am not gonna listen to this fucking shit. We've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes. Take off your pants. Come on. Come on, Lazarus. You can stick your head for looking at it. Uh, you see guys, all of their missions is literally just driving from point A to point B and getting ambushed or setting people up and killing them. hanging out with loads of naked chicks. So I mean, I the fun in it, but I just think clothes have distinct advantages, like like not accidentally cooking yourself or, or when you're working on a building. We're not swingers. It's not about sex. It's about being one with the world. All right, dude. Groovy. Hug a rainbow. It's time for a public service announcement from... The Hello. Ah, mira, it's my favorite lady. You're looking for some fun? A little, mm, some spank? Hey, Chico. Nah, just the usual. Here you go, lady. Hey, maybe you should check out the warehouse party at the East End of Atlantic Keys. Mm, thanks, Chico. 
See you around. Gracias. And enjoy. I am Let's not go. gonna go to no fucking party. You can be sure of independent, quality-led broadcast. Come on, Fido. Let's go and check out this party. Oh my god. And, and what? And do just fucking North stand East. there and, and not say anything like he always does? A lot of you fucking Here you. Media, we are proud of what we have done to help America and to help hard-working Americans relax. For investment opportunities or information about our new interactive television service, please go to www.lovemedia.tv. <sighs> Ooh, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, let's go to line eight. Hello, caller. What's your name? Bob. Bob from Pine Creek. Hey, uh, what's up, Bob from Pine Creek? Well, I've been listening to your show. There's always people going on about... And drop off Maria. Am I not invited? What? Alright, whatever. I guess I'll park right here. Can I take another car? I'm gonna take one of these cars. I don't give a fuck. Let's take this one. What? Bitch, you better hurry the fuck up. Get the fuck up. Hey, stop shooting me. Don't shoot me. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this shit. Let me put in my work. There you go. Uh, get into the stretch. Into the stretch? God damn. Oh my god. Bro, I took that car for a reason. Come on, come on. Holy shit, dude. But you know what? Now, I want all this. Give me all the guns. Give me all the guns. Maria, I don't know why the fuck you continue to follow me. What the fuck? Of course that shit would happen to me. All right, what did you learn? Me and the fellas need to talk Don't business. leave gonna look after my the fucking limo. Stupid. God damn. That sounds a little oppressive, even despotic. And doctors, politicians, lawyers, whatever. You know, I can't be bothered to argue with you, but I do feel sorry for your little Johnny, the seven-year-old cook, chimney smooth paralegal photocopier, because his daddy's an idiot. Let's take a quick break. Phil and I just had another kid. So of course we need a bigger SUV. Being a mom is hard with soccer, football. <sighs> ah, Mira, it's my favorite All right. lady. I don't care. You're looking for some fun? The Are train is stuck. Mm, Never mind, the train Thank just you left. Know. Nah, just the usual. There you go, lady. Hey, maybe you should check out the warehouse party at the East End of Atlanta Keys. That was a complete mm -hmm. setup. Chico. See you around. Gracias. And enjoy. That's good stuff. There. With the time I, I run him over shortcuts through the strip mall parking lot. Come on, Fido, let's go and check out the right away. Like gazing longingly at the uh, pool boy or buying more exercise equipment off the TV. Okay, so guy. what if it gets three miles to the gallon? I'm a mom, not a conservationist. The new my Batsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Would you like a giraffe? Have one delivered. Just log on to petsovernight.com and we'll send you a giraffe overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, you are listening to Chatterbox by me, Laszlo, because I got kicked off the rock station. Let's go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Hello, caller, you're on the air. Hi, Leslie. My name's Martha. I just love your show. I always see when I'm getting my call. All right, but you wait here and look after the show. I go to show you the The World Wide Web? Yeah, I know all about it. <laughs> Hurry the fuck I up, dude. Have your time. Dude, I... I go to a shop, and the name's Laszlo. Leslie? Leslie. Well, I'm jogging. 
It's incredible. I also like chess and cooking and bestiality, so the internet is really good. Nice. I used to go out a lot, but I don't have to go out ever again. It's incredible. I don't envy those kids with their spit out Look at that shit. God damn. This is really going nowhere. If you have anything interesting At least Maria knows the fucking assignment, dude. She's not there just fucking around. That's phenomenal. Probably one of the reasons there are so many single men in this city. Oh shit. Right, let's go over to here to line 79. Hello, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, uh, is that last? Uh yes. <gasps> oh wow, on the radio. I'm saying oh, thank you last God damn. Is this on the radio? I mean, am I actually on the radio for a second? Uh uh, yes you are. Uh, Fuck, I'm actually out running the cops. Thank God. It looks like I'm making a okay. short to, progress, so whatever I'm doing, you gotta keep doing it. Be patient. Fuck it, guys. If this works, it fucking works. Look at them. Stupid fucks. I think if I still fall though, I could get back up. But yeah, I like me. What are you insinuating? That, that he's on the radio? Well, probably not. Um, you're listening to Chatterbox, where your opinion matters, or at least we say that. Let's go over here to line four. Hello, caller. What's your name? Jeff from Rock. Hello, Jeff. What's up? I wanted to tell you. Okay, don't let go. I can't let go of the fucking e-brake. I literally have to continue. Starting at step. All those any banners and scenes going all night and all day to prepare for it. Then, when tens of thousands have gathered in the park, we're going to march on the town hall. Razzle, the people have spoken, and they have said no, not in my town. So folks, if you're listening and want to make a difference, get yourself down to the park and prepare to bring democracy back to the people. So, uh, what's this rally about, Jeff? It's about people standing up and being counted. It's about the future. It's about telling those morons in the suit. God damn, you guys end is fucking dark as hell. No! Going back down. I cannot let this pass. Let what pass? It's about grabbing the town by the balls and saying, listen, son, time to put up or shut up. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more easy solutions to difficult problems. It's about what it means to be an American. It's about giving something back. Giving what back, Jeff? Hope, dreams, belief. Believe Dude, I fucking I mean, look, did it. I, I admire your passion, oh my really, I god. Do, what will people be marching uh, for? What, what's your rally about? It's about justice, Mr. Lowe. A chance to shine and make a difference. About thousands of people walking side by side as brother marching. Only one thing on their mind. Wow. Holy shit. I fucking did it. Bring your kids. Fuck you if you doubted me. You know, I enjoyed myself for the first time in a long Shut while. Shut up, you, no. You know, you nope. treat me really good with respect and everything. Nope. Well, I better go. I am Coolio. You're ugly anyways. Bitch. Uh, who's the T? Oh, yeah, I want to continue to do missions for the T guy. Fuck these guys. God <laughs> damn it, fuck. Hello, caller. You're on chat. Never get through. Amazing. You do a great show. Um. Really great. You're like a total inspiration. But pretty soon, like next week, dude. Uh, the big four it's, it's, it's time to go. Okay. Alrighty. It's 
Let's continue to do fucking missions for this guy. <laughs> oh, it's you. Tony ain't here. But he left one of his sugary love letters for you. We're at war. The Triads have a fish factory as a front. Most of their business goes down at the fish market in Chinatown. The laundry still owes us protection. They reckon the Triads are protecting them now, so I say we exact a fitting punishment. Take those boys over and whack the Triad warlords. Hell, if you get a chance, pop some of their soldiers, too. Those guys with me? They are. Oh, fuck, give me a shotgun. Holy fuck, dude. They, they, he wasn't messing around when he said it was the kind of dedication we have to our employees and the quality of our shoes. Eris for buying a gift for the guy that has everything. Log on to petsovernight.com. We've got exotic pets galore, including tigers, cobras, manatees, and white rhinos. All delivered overnight. Petsovernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, is one of the top 100 self-help books in the past three weeks. He's the founder of... I still don't like the way that this is set up. <sighs> Told me to pop some of the other guys, and I ended up hitting one of our girls. I think milk based, as we all know, and I. Shot. I definitely need a new car. I know you've read. I address the dangers of cynicism. That low, closed mind is like a closed fist. And karate means open hand. But it might as well mean open mind. If you like wheat grass, I think you'll really like me. Well, I'm not a masticating cow, so I really don't enjoy oh, chewing oh. damp hay and prancing around in leggings, shouting. Oh, thank oh, God. Okay, that though, I'm warning you this time. Do not make me. I think these will let me in. I think it's a van. Guy at. My leg should be having a head now. Oh, there he is. But I grow weak and start knocking things down the room. What can I do, Reed? Do not fret, my child. You have a whole is there any other way to get inside? Shut up, you carnivore. Why don't you go gnaw on a bone like Try a bad fish though? Our ancestors didn't eat chicken wings. They lived at one God damn it. in their ecosystem, subsisting on a diet of nuts, berries, and leafy vegetables. Yes, and they threw stones at their own shadow and died of old age and fear at 24. Gladlo, the soul is eternal. But let me answer the question. When I'm in trouble or tempted by the all-you-can-eat breakfast buffet with huge cans of juicy bacon... Can we get some bacon in here? Gladlo, I go back to bacon. 
I start the day with a fruity beverage, some meditation, and six hours of yoga. Next, I go open up my shop, now and then, and drink two pints of hand fresh And who wants a steak after that? Okay, next caller, you are on Chatterbox. Where's all the vans at, dude? Fuck. Oh, there's one right there. No, that wasn't one. Okay, first thing first, my man. You need to stop the negative that could have been one right there. Yeah, I think that is one. Now, I'm fucking hauling ass, though. Where do I get this fucking van, man? Bro, I'll just take one of these. Fuck it, I don't care. Oh, this was the one that I needed. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk. I think that was half desk. That was one of our guys. I shall make it. Hey ya! Oh! Oh, oh Lano! Lano! I think I put my hand in my This is karate kid. The desk is still in one piece. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, Lazo, mockery will get you nowhere. I think I'm gonna hit you now. Oh, I bruise easily. Don't throw any tofu or bean curds at me. Okay, very funny, Lazo. You can make fun of me, but all the fault is the funk sway in here. Down right this All right, here we go, here we go. Makes you talk like this. Okay, Better let me in now. Lines are open. This is Chatterbox. You're on the air. Hey, Lazo. That last thought. guy was a lunatic. Where'd you dig him up from? The state movie bin? That wacko you had going on about killer bees? What a moron. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, let me go and pick up their fucking weapons. All right, man, you know what this means, right? Oh, fuck. Sorry, guys, I had to do it. I desperately need fucking health right now. <clears throat> Big two. So this is Studio Two. Talking about short guys, killer bees, the Magna Carta, chip. Huh? Well, the red light on the wall is flashing. The owner of the station has an important announcement to make. Let's go live to his office. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. Oh my wow. god. What? Hey, those are weird ass looking like buses. I haven't seen those kind. It feels like my second family. Except that we have a snack machine. And I tell you, working here beats the hell out of digging sewage ditches outside Kuala Lumpur. Alright, let me get some health. Alright, let's go to the phone. Hello, dollar. You're on channel. Bro, why am I getting shot at? Look, guys, it's cool. Oh my god. Never mind, it's not cool. Fuck. How how do those guys get away with shooting me right in front of a fucking cop station? But yet, if I even tap a police car, cops are on me like I fucking murdered the whole family or country or some shit. Blowfish. Okay, I've had enough of this shit. We're gonna finish the triads in Liberty once and for all. Eight balls rigged a dust cart with a bomb. It's on a timer, so if you mess up, there'll be no evidence. Go and pick up the dust cart. Careful. Eight ball says it's real sensitive. <sighs> the slightest bump could set that thing off. Their fish factory will open its gates for a dust cart, so you can drive right in. Park up between the gas canisters and get the hell out of there. I want it to rain mackerel. We're talking real biblical here. Nothing low budget. Alright, let's do it. Like football and hopscotch. Hopscotch? That's a girls game. Bro, how do the ants 
How do I keep getting ants? That's the second fucking ant in the past month that has magically crawled up my fucking um, sweater and shit. Or not sweater, but my clothes and got to my hand. Your empire had fallen apart over the last hundred years. And speaking of commerce, it's time for some commerce. Oh yeah, it's about to go down right now, especially with this kind of music. Better not get copy uh, right for this one. All right, that's enough of that. My name's Phil. I've got three kids, two cars, and a mortgage. My love life is going stiff, even before my wife's car accident. Then I call new beginnings. Thanks to Fernando, I'm still Claude, there. close the but fucking door. I meet Barbara at the motel by the church. Always leaves the door. Oh, there you go. The passion oh, wait. Back. Phil's marriage is saved, and his kids will have a daddy to look up to. Call new beginnings today. Cinco, 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 nueve dos, nueve dos. It will be a miracle. Yeah, she don't close. I guarantee it. Fernando's new beginnings. We turn an ending into a new beginning. You mean I'm going long? Mom, there's a package for you. But I didn't order anything. What's this? How oh, sweet. <laughs> Gee willikers, it's a puppy. Everybody loves Fuck, dude, I gotta get there ASAP. Forgot I had a time run. PetsOvernight.com. PetsOvernight.com. Delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Who says that e-commerce isn't a brilliant idea? All right, speaking of brilliant, you're listening to Chatterbox with me, Laszlo. Let's go over here to the phones and see what's plaguing Liberty yeah, City. My mate, oh, yeah. caller, you're on the air. Wow, I got through. Uh, Laszlo, I think your last few callers are a perfect... Wait, wasn't I just here? I already fucking murked the shit out of these guys. Anything but themselves. Perfect example. The other day, I stopped at the store to pick up an exercise bar because I hadn't had breakfast or lunch. So I go up oh my and pay God. and place like a dollar twenty-five. Please. So I get out my checkbook and the guy behind me is like, "Oh come on, lady, you don't have two dollars?" And I said, "As a matter of fact, I don't. I spent my last two dollars last night buying gas at these ridiculous." Get in the fucking van, Claude, you idiot! Alright, Claude, now you now you really need to get the fuck out of there. Alright, well that does that. Yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right here. Um... Yeah, it's a fucking Sunday. I'm not trying to play till uh, too late. But yeah, guys, thank you to those who actually watched the stream. I didn't see anybody. I fucking understand, though. Um, yeah, if you're on Twitch, go to YouTube. If you're on YouTube, go to Twitch. This coming up week, uh, plan on editing a lot more of the shorts and start uploading those and shit. <coughs> and then this should be a pretty uh, normal week for me, so... I'll stream on Friday, Saturday, Sunday of next week, and I should have the rest of the San Andreas parts of the shorts already uploaded or edited, ready for upload. And I'll start doing um, Grand Theft Auto 3 as well. But yeah, guys, done with Nino.